In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can get your logo so it's embedded onto your photos via uh, Adobe Lightroom and so that it doesn't just look like you've pasted on a picture. So for example, in this picture here, I've taken this picture of the street and I want to put on the company, the moving property logo onto this. However, I don't have any logos for this at all. So if I were to do, for example, uh, right click and export, for my, there's a bit we've got here, watermarking, I don't have a watermark. I've got a logo, this, I'd like to put that on the image. So here's how I can do that. So on Lightroom, what you want to do is go up to the edit watermarks. This is where you make up uh, your watermark that you're gonna put on it. So at the moment, mine says nothing on it, but I want to bring in my logo. So what you want to choose is up here is graphic. And then this pops up and you are able to choose the graphic which you want to do. However, if I were to go and find my logo here, what you'll see is that there's a tiny little picture down in the corner, which obviously you can move around and also you can even uh, change its size and all that stuff. However, there, it just looks like I've pla pasted a picture that onto, onto the image. I want to get rid of all that white. Now here's a quick way to do it using the free software GIMP. So open your logo up in GIMP. Uh, I've got it saved as a JPEG. Now the issue here is we don't want to save it as a JPEG. We want to save it as a special super duper thing. But first of all, we want to get rid of the white here. So for this, or we want to make the white what we call turn it to alpha. So here, color to alpha. Alpha means nothing. Like that is the background, the checkerboard. And if you click OK, we'll see that pretty much everything has disappeared now. Well, everything that was white. And then from there, when we're clicking save, click save as, and instead of it being a JPG, a JPEG, put PNG. Uh, and PNG, nobody knows what that stands for, but it's it's the magic thing which somehow saves the background checkerboard thing. Uh, you've also got it as an option here, where you can just click PNG image. So just typing in the letters or doing that does exactly the same thing. So now when I go into Lightroom and I go click on graphic, you'll see right beside it where I had just moving property medium JPEG, I've now got moving property medium PNG. If I click on that, click choose, it looks exactly the same here. But however now, as you'll see in the image, we now have the logo without all the white guff behind it. So now I've got the option to be able to move that to wherever I want and we can change the opacity and do lots of cool, fun and interesting things. So I could even leave it up like that. So then when I go to file and export the image, down here I've got watermark, and then you click the options, moving property, logo. So now you've got your photo with your logo on it. There you go, that's my quick way of just adding uh, your logos into Adobe Lightroom 4. I think you can do it with three as well. There you go, hope that helps.